Something came in the mail today. So, I'm pretty sure you guys already seen the title of this video. If you want to get to that part, skip to this part of the video. But if you want, you can stick around for this. So That's a cute toolbox. So, for an explanation. My keyboard broke, which made me very upset because I love this keyboard. Love it. Here's the problem. My A key, which is right over here, I already removed all these keys, stopped working. Well, it didn't stop working, but it started, it started double pressing. So I was starting to get super annoyed because I kept double pressing A instead of Roman, be Roman or Sadovsky. Because I search myself up all the time. I completely disassembled it. And all that's left is what's essentially just the power cord and the logic board in the back. Here's the plan. This is my faulty switch. I'm going to replace this with another switch Something that I'd rarely use, uh, F12. Who the hell presses F12 ever? But, the problem is, all these switches are soldered on the back. So I have to go buy a soldering iron. Now the only reason I'm doing this is because I don't really want to spend money on a keyboard right now. Hopefully the solution works, but I'm like 90% sure it won't. Because knowing my luck, I'm not gonna fix my keyboard and it'll explode in my face. So, let's get started. That's, that's a problem. Uh, let's get this show on the road. I have to melt these two little points, and then, then you gotta suck it up with this thing, get rid of all that melted stuff, and then the switch should pop out. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna be thoroughly disappointed. Yes! It looks like it wants to go, but it's just not... Oh. Huh. Okay, so this is try number one at soldering. Here's a soldering iron. Let's just go. I mean, probably not the best soldering job. Awesome. I think I found my new profession. All right, so the moment of truth. The light's still shining. Let's start with the G key. It still types. This is the A key that I just soldered on. Let's see if it works. Please work, please work, please work. Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 I just saved 200 bucks. Last but not least, the A key. Anyway, let's get to the story. So, it's been a couple days and I'm happy to report the A key on my keyboard still works. Watch. A key still works. So, I would say it's mission accomplished. But anywho, so yeah, if you read the title of this video, I promise you, not clickbait. Technically, not clickbait. Not, yeah, no. I, I, I don't think so, at least. So to get started, I have very little trust when it comes to anyone of higher authority, if you will. So that means security guards, airport security, police officers, zero trust. I ain't trusting them. When I grew up, I used to think that police officers were like, basically superheroes you know they always do the right thing they know what to do and you know what there are some pro police officers there I'm not trying to offend anyone here but here's the point when you start growing up you start to realize these people are still humans they're still humans they have emotions and they have an off day or whatever and that's kind of scary to know that that person has been given the power to essentially control you in in a way in a way, you know, the police are there to protect. The presence of a police officer should make you feel safe. To me, opposite. If he's there, why is he there? What's he protecting me from? Should I be concerned? Should I be aware? And then all of a sudden, I'm starting to feel guilty. I did nothing wrong, but I feel like I did something. I'm, I'm hiding. I'm already thinking of a plan to get out of there. If I walk by a police officer, I feel guilty of something. I, I did something. I know it. I, and there's, I'm takes all the willpower just not to go, that guy, that's the guy you want. Yeah, that guy, see him? That's the guy you want. 
and like say say you walk by them do you, do you pay attention to them do you say hi do you not say hi is it threatening if you say hi is it weird if you don't like ugh, i don't know what to do in those situations no idea some of those european airports they have literally people walking around with machine guns at all times i got sweat down my back i hate it not a fan and I don't know, like, do I make eye contact? Do I not? If I make eye contact, do I become threatening? If I don't make eye contact, am I looking like I'm trying to hide from them? It's the stuff that goes on in my mind. When you have one of these bad boys, Canadian Passport, you almost never have any issues traveling, which is awesome, but I'm still nervous around airport security. Now, I've had some interesting things happen in uh, airport security. Nine times out of ten, I never carry my skates with me onto the plane. So yeah, they're, they're kind of sharp, and they've got like two pretty sharp edges. But I mean, it's not like a blade, you know? It's not a blade. I could feel I feel safe doing this. Unless they're just sharpened, this doesn't do anything. They're not that sharp. But to a security guard, they see these things, and you know what? It's a weapon of mass destruction. So yeah, I if I can, I always try to bring my skates with me on the carry-on just in case they get lost. If it's like a single flight, if I'm flying from Toronto to let's say Tokyo, awesome. One flight, don't need to transfer, I can carry my skates with me. Whew. So about a year ago, I don't remember what competition this was, I don't really remember. But this is, I believe, Frankfurt, maybe? I'm not carrying my skates this time because I'm transferring. So I give them the, I put my bag in, I'm not, this time I'm like, sort of tired after competition, I'm starting to care less, I'm like, what is, you know? Feeling more relaxed than usual. Do so you know how there are like two conveyor belts in security? There's one where you just take it, you go, and the other one that you need like random selection or more processing or whatever you want to call it. And of course, it goes through random selection, and I'm just like thinking to myself, what do I have in there? Like it was legit almost an empty bag. There was almost nothing in there. And then I thought to myself, oh gosh, like I forgot my thread and needle. So I left my thread and needle in there because I always have it just in case my pants rip open, which believe it or not, happens more often than you think. So I'm like, you know what? Thread and needle, it's fine. It's thread and needle, fine, you know, they can take it. I'm not in that much trouble. But these German security guards, no chill. They have no chill. They bring me over and I'm like starting to get a little worried. I'm like, okay, this guy's looking a little serious. Like, I'm not liking this. I go up, he waits, and then he calls for his friend. He's like, he calls for his friend that's in the back, another security guard with a machine gun. Now I'm getting really nervous, I'm like, thread and needle. I'm getting, I'm getting arrested for thread and needle. Like this is like, this doesn't make sense. The guy walks in with a machine gun with the concern. He saw the concern in his face and the seriousness. You would be scared too. He's like, we took a swab of your bag. Our machine says you have explosives in your bag. What do you have in there? What? What do you do in that situation when the guy tells you you have explosives in your bag? I'm convinced that this bag is pretty much empty, I swear. Maybe a, a, a sweater, a few socks, and a, like a couple deodorant sticks or something. And a thread of needle. Forgot, forgot that. That's what I thought I was in trouble for. No, there are explosives in my bag. At this point, my mind is racing at a thousand miles an hour. He's like, yeah, you have explosives in your bag. I'm like, uh, yeah, I, I don't remember installing a bomb and now these guys are like starting to get a little like edgy to like open the bag got the machine guns getting ready as if i'm gonna have like a nuclear reactor in there i'm sweating at this point i'm thinking i'm thinking of a way out i'm thinking of how to book it and i look around me there's nowhere to go security guards everywhere a couple of his friends with more machine guns what am i gonna do it's over either i'm getting arrested or i'm getting tackled down or i'm getting shot at this point, I'm, I'm saying my last prayers. And then, as I'm opening the bag, I'm thinking to myself, yo, what if someone just like, slipped something in there? I'm getting framed. Someone's targeting me. Someone really hates me today. And I'm thinking, I had my bag with me the whole time, there's no way. Some of you might be saying this is desperate thinking. No, it's not. When you got a guy with a machine gun in front of you, you start thinking these things. How are you getting screwed over? How am I getting screwed over like this? I open it up. And I see nothing. I see whatever I put in there. I'm like, good thing there's nothing in there. Now I'm feeling a little more relaxed, but yet a little tense. And they're like, they're looking, hmm. I'm sorry, sir. You know, sometimes our machine get confused with some creams or deodorant. It sometimes processes it as some kind of explosive. You have like creams or deodorant inside your bag. I'm like, oh, yeah, boy, I got deodorant sticks. Look at them. I, I got them. Yeah, that, that's, 
Yeah, I got them. Great. He looks inside the bag and he's like, huh, there's nothing in there. And he looked pissed. Like, he looked mad. He looked upset that he didn't have the chance to arrest me. And I'm just like, boy, you ain't arresting me, bro. I'm clean, clean. You can't do anything, you can't touch me. He looked mad and furious, closed my bag and he let me go. And I'm feeling like I just dodged, I literally just dodged a bullet. I'm walking onto the plane feeling very good about myself. Walking through, I beat the system, I win. And then I start thinking to myself, how is it that their machine thought my deodorant was an explosive? Now that I have this knowledge, say someone else acquires this knowledge, I'm not giving anyone ideas, by the way, don't do this. But, what if someone who is violent and wants to cause harm thinks this through and he's just like, bro, I'm gonna pack in my bomb with bars of deodorant. Imagine they tell the person, sir, open your bag. You have a bomb in your bag. Don't worry, sir. I just, I just, no, no, it's not a bomb. I just want, I just like smelling good, you know? It's just, I like smelling good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sir, I'm so sorry. Don't, no, let me, let me, let me, let me clean this up. No, no, don't touch that one! Not that one, no! Yeah, now I'm just more nervous traveling. Yeah, so that's the story of how I almost got arrested. I'm a thug, people. You don't even know. Hope you guys all have a fabulous day, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.